Well, some familiar sights are returning along West Franklin Street as the Fall Festival makes its return after last year's cancellation. Carnival rides are starting to go up today as the setup begins for one of the Tri-State's biggest events. At Eyewitness News, Mike Pickett is there live on West Franklin Street with more on this. Mike? Shelly, all day workers have been putting up the uh, carnival rides behind me, including the first wheel here on the grounds of the EVPL West Library. And this is happening just days before the booths are going up along West Franklin uh, on Sunday morning. This is one of the first visual signs the festival is coming back after the pandemic forced its cancellation last year. As the festival carnival rides started going up along West Franklin, some people's excitement that the festival's return after last year's cancellation increased. I'm so excited to be back this year. Looking forward to be down here. We miss being down here. This year's edition marks 100 years for the fall festival and also for the West Side Nut Club. While 26 organizations decided not to have booths this year, more than 110 will still line West Franklin. Todd Helford of the West Side Nut Club says most of the layout will be the same, but the drive through ticket booth for the half pot used last year won't be back. The parking lot it was at will return to the club's men's club for their fundraiser. The fact that that parking lot was previously used and it will be used again the way it has been used in the past. And so really you know, our purpose is, you know, we have a festival with a half pot. So the festival is what we want folks to come down for. Helford says 500 gallons of hand sanitizer were donated by Lowe's, Target and Brantag will be up along the street. The festival's return also means a return of attention to businesses along the street, whether they're open or closed next week. I think it'll be nice to have people kind of back on the street and getting to see the changes that have happened on Franklin Street because we're not the only ones that have made changes to our businesses. Alfred also adds that people can still wear masks while they are while they are on West Franklin during the festival if they feel comfortable in doing so. And he also still recommends that people try to practice physical distancing as best as they can while they're here. Live in Evansville, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.